Hey guys and welcome to another Interstellar Modeler. This is now part two of the Warhawk build. Now before we go on, I wanted to show you some extra pictures that I found here online. Um, as I was uh, doing more research trying to find more reference pictures, I stumbled across this website run by a gentleman by the name of David Sisson. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'll put up his link here. Now, um, interesting thing about this gentleman is that he uh, has built numerous scale models uh, from the Jerry Anderson TV shows and uh, he actually built a replica of the Warhawk. Now as he constructed his replica he actually had access to an original studio miniature and that's what these pictures are of here. And so uh, he took a lot of close-up pictures here and um, just a lot of good detailing here that we can use as a guide and uh, particularly he showed the underside of the rear section of the ship um, and this is providing a lot of good information for me. Now in part one, I did a number of things, uh, particularly I concentrated on filling in a lot of the um, surface defects here on the fuselage. I worked on opening up the windows and the cockpit. Uh, but from here on out, what I'm gonna do is uh, just divide this in parts here. And so in this section, or at least in this part here, I'm gonna concentrate on the fuselage section. So, and what I'd like to do actually is try to go by what I see here in the pictures and construct a uh, reasonable facsimile of this here. And so the model does come with um, some um, uh, rods and things that are supposed to go here, but I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and um, scratch build this myself using uh, plastic rods by Evergreen. Um, so that's the first step here. And then um, uh, in order to proceed with that, however, I do have to work on painting the rest of it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and prep these here for painting. And uh, then I, there's a few things I need to add. I'm gonna add some detailing here. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna apply the uh, base coat or the base color, which is gonna be just white. Uh, so it's not really gonna look much different than what you see here, but I'm gonna apply the actual paint. And then I'll apply the uh, orange trim as well. And that way we can essentially assemble this section and then work on all these pipes and rods and so forth. So that's the plan, and then after we complete this section, we'll move on then to the cockpit, and then to the engine section. Okay, so um, in the process of adding surface detail here, and um, one thing I'm gonna work on is adding these um, rectangular pieces here, because uh, the model is missing them, as you can see. And I've already done the other side, so let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, you can see here they're installed on this side and there's about eight of them. And what I'm doing is just cutting these styrene strips here, it's a 0.25 millimeter uh, strip that I'm just trimming into the proper size and gluing them into place with super glue. And one of the things I was initially concerned was that this might interfere with the command module because remember we're holding that in place with magnets. But as you can see, putting that into place, it doesn't interfere with it at all. As I mentioned earlier, um, I'm going to go ahead and scratch build this area here, and actually that's what I'm working on now. Uh, the model does come with some tubing here, but uh, the tubing is thicker uh, than it appears here, so I decided just to discard those and uh, work on making my own. So uh, what I'm using again is just to use the styrene rods from Evergreen, and I am using this, uh, this 1 16th uh, inch rod here. and um, this is really just hard to film. There's really not much to film, really. All I'm doing is just um, cutting them. Uh, I cut them first at an angle right here and I fit two together. And uh, then I just kind of, using just my eye here, going back and forth and just trimming them until I get the proper angle. Now, one thing that's very helpful with this is uh, I'm using super glue, first of all, to uh, join the pieces together. And it's good to have an accelerator because otherwise you're left holding that uh, for a little bit until they finally bond together, but the accelerator really helps to speed up the process, as the name implies there, and um, makes it much easier. So uh, these side tubes should um, be at a flat uh, orientation here. They shouldn't be angled, uh, at least what I'm talking about is here anyway. They should be uh, basically straight across. And uh, then they're kind of angled here uh, forward, you can see again in the picture, and in this picture as well. And they're kind of attached here towards the uh, anterior part of this round feature there. 
So that's what I'm trying to uh, duplicate here, and you can see it worked out fairly well. And uh, this model doesn't quite match up to the proportions here, but um, it's close. And uh, so now these are in place here, and then I have to then work on the tubing that's going to go uh, perpendicular to these all the way up, and they will bank and turn onto the side pieces here. Okay. So, uh, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, start painting. I'm going to go ahead and paint this then flat white, and uh, then um, lay on the orange color here on the sides as well, and then we'll work uh, towards uh, making these tubes here. All right. So that's what's next. So I will keep moving on and update you here shortly. Okay guys, you can see now I've painted the orange, and uh, so these are of course the two side pieces here. We've got the um, missile launchers, I'll call them here. Uh, we have the rear engine piece here. And uh, so this was all done by just masking the areas off, of course. And uh, I started with international orange. When I painted the first coat, it looked a bit dark, so I decided to mix in some chrome yellow. So this is probably about, I would say, 20% chrome yellow, the rest orange. Um, so I've mixed enough to cover the um, cockpit section as well. I want to take a second just to show you these pods here. Um, now whether you're uh, painting a room in your house or you're painting a model, the one thing that you have to go through is to mask everything off. It's a tedious process, there's really no getting around it. Um, you just have to kind of take the time to do it so that you can get the proper lines and everything. Uh, but these have now been masked to be painted. Uh, what we're going to do is paint a light gray color. These panels here and here and here. And then these are the areas here off to the, near the front of the ship that hold the missile launchers. And I'm going to be using the same color here as well. So again, it can be a little monotonous to do this, but uh, you know, in the end, uh, you'll get a good result. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, this when it's done. And I'll be back in a second. And here you have the painted pods now. You can see the light gray has been added. I also painted these pieces as well and added these orange markings here. And uh, so again, taking the time to mask everything off uh, pays off in the end. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the maneuvering jets. Uh, that's this piece right here. Um, these pieces look a bit crude. Uh, it's just a little block here that I'm going to try and um, sand a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to add a little piece of styrene to um, mimic uh, this square piece here in the center. And uh, then the uh, little exhaust bells, they basically attach to the um, side of the rectangle there, but uh, what I'm doing is taking a pin vise and uh, drilling a, a hole there that uh, the nose of the uh, cone can go into, so there's a little bit more stability. All right, so I'll move on to that, and then those have to be painted. So just still a um, number of little details here before we complete this main section. And uh, I will uh, update you on this in just a second. And here are the maneuvering jets completed here. So I um, ended up cutting out some styrene plastic to cover the entire rectangular piece because it was fairly uneven on the face there. And then I cut another piece to mimic the look that you see here. And uh, yeah, I think overall they came out pretty well. The uh, exhaust bells were glued into place, and then I also took a pin vise, by the way, to kind of hollow them out just a little bit. You can't hollow them out completely, but at least they look better than, than them being flat. So, they're all set. Then the other thing I did was completed these here. Uh, these, of course, are the vertical takeoff jets. Uh, they're going to go along here, here, and here. And uh, so I painted them with aluminum. This, I'm using Tamiya's aluminum paint and uh, also painted the interior black, so I'm just waiting for those to dry. So now the side pods are in place here, and you can see I've also attached the steering jets. And uh, so now we have to work on the tubing. So uh, what I'm talking about in particular is this, uh, these tubes here that uh, go in 90 degree angles, and then there's one that stretches from one side to the other. So two things we have to do, we have to create the tubes, which um, I did using this uh, 0.08 inch rod here. And I just cut them in 90 degree angles, glued them together. I'm gonna paint them, but uh, they're just drying here right now. And then you can see there are these uh, two pieces here and here that the rods uh, connect into. So I had to create those out of styrene plastic. So I just cut them 
in, uh, trying to get a shape that's somewhat similar there. And um, I'm gonna paint them orange, put them into place here, and then we'll lay the rods um, into position. So I will move forward with that and show you here in just a second what it looks like. Okay, and here we now have the completed bottom section. We have the two pieces I fabricated in place there. The tubing now is uh, feeding right into them. And I also installed these two tanks. I added a little bit of strips styrene there just to add some detail. So I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here. I know there's a few other things I need to do to complete this section. Uh, I need to put these together here. These hold the missile launchers. Uh, this goes on the top of this section here as well as these pieces. Now one thing I will let you know is I do plan on creating my own decals for this ship. Uh, there are a few things that I can uh, detail here. If you look at this picture there are a number of different panels that uh, are gray. Now I could paint those but I think this would be a great opportunity to see if I can create my own decals for that. So um, I'm actually going to post a separate video that will uh, go over that in detail. Uh, simply so that it is accessible as a separate video about decals. Um, but um, hopefully everything will work out with that. The next video on the other hand is going to really concentrate on the command module, lighting the command module, and finishing up the engine section. Um, I'll talk briefly about the decals I'll be creating there, um, but then we'll be able to finish up the project. So I will see you in the next one. As usual, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. You can contact me on my YouTube channel or at interstellarmodeler at gmail.com if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in part three.